Jamie High was officially declared dead at a hospital, but he really died here at Elgin Middlesex Detention Centre in London, Ontario. The story of his life and his death begin here too. On December 23, 2014, the police scanner in the London Free Press newsroom erupted with talk of an inmate with BSA, vital signs absence, at the jail. I've written a lot of stories about the jail over the past five or six years, the violence, the overcrowding, drug trafficking, poisonous labor relations, and deaths. But the death of Jamie High was different right from the start. Happening just before Christmas, it seemed to fade away, as if it never happened. It took several weeks in the new year for his name to even surface. But his name carried a different kind of currency than the other names of the men I cover here at Elgin Middlesex Detention Center. His was not a childhood of abuse and poverty, addiction, that's often sent a lot of these guys here on the path to jail. Jamie High was successful, father of two, very popular, very fit, very handsome. Everybody knew Jamie, everybody loved Jamie, his friends and family said. Jamie was not the kind of man you expected to find at Elgin Middlesex Detention Center. It turns out he came across several other institutions along his path to his death. Hospitals, the police, the bail system, the court system, the mental health care system. Turns out there are a lot of issues worth looking at in his story. The story took too long to finish. It took a long time for his name to leak out. It took a long time to convince family and friends to talk. It took even longer to get all the official documents and reports from the jail and the hospital and the mental health care system. And every time I dug up an issue, it led to digging up another issue. But it was more than the issues that kept me interested in this story. It was Jamie himself. His friends and family are fiercely loyal to him and his memory. They were reluctant to talk to me in the first place, and when they did, they spoke only of the love they had for him. They were reluctant to speak because they worry about what Jamie would think, what Jamie would think about his life being exposed so publicly. He was an outgoing and engaging man, but he liked his privacy too. I also worry about what Jamie High would make of all this. But lots of people talked about how he liked to lend a helping hand in business, at the gym, in sports. He liked to make things better for people. I like to think that in his death, in this story, and the coroner's inquest that follows, Jamie High is still going to make things better. For Post Media, I'm Randy Richmond.